Hello, Mr. Thompson. What the hell are you doing here? I just figured I'd stop by and say hello. What the hell for? Well, since I haven't seen you in almost a year, I figured it would be perfect time. Please, save me your pleasantries, because I don't care. Well, I also stopped by to let you know I'm back on your case. You're back on my case. What for? I was fine without you. I was happy. I didn't have to come into this little bitty room and speak into this little box. Well, let's just say the people in the suits liked what I did. They liked how you were being treated while you were under my care. No, oh, please. The only thing you did for me was dope me up on medication. Well, there's been a change now, Mr. Thompson. For the better, mind you. Nurse, if you would, uh, could you hand me that over here? Please, thank you. What's that? It's a new type of medication that I'm going to be putting you on. You're not going to be on any more pills. Nobody's going to be putting pills in your water or in your food. It looks like a bleeding needle. Well, it is. You get one injection once a month. Oh, please. You know I don't want something like that. I don't want any damn medication. I just want to go home. Well, with this, your wishes to go home may come true. You're kidding me. You told me the last time we spoke that I would never get to go home. That I'd never get to do anything except sit here in this little cell and look at the outside world through my one-by-one -one window. Well, Mr. Thompson, let's just say practices change. We understand that Keeping people like you isolated from the world is not healthy. In fact, it's detrimental to your psyche. Detrimental to my psyche? Can you dumb that down a little bit? Because as you said, Doc, I'm a little slow. Very well, Mr. Thompson. In a short sense, it basically says if we don't let you out and mingle with society, you will go crazy. I'll go crazy. Didn't you tell me I was crazy once before? I don't recall that. Nurse, do you recall that? Oh, so I do. Oh, well, apologies, Mr. Thompson. I apologize to you for calling you crazy. No one is crazy. That's what I thought, Doc. Now, if you don't mind, can I go back to my room? Now, why would you want to do that, Mr. Thompson? You don't want to go back to your room. You haven't been given your medication yet. I done told you. I don't want your damn medication. You can take that and shove it where the sun don't shine. Mr. Thompson, you never learn, do you? Nurse, send your orderlies in. What are you doing? I told you, Doc, I don't want this. Ah! Let me go! Let go of me! Mr. Thompson, this is for your own good. I said let me go! Ah! Ah! Could have been a little more gentle. All you had to do was ask. And I'd have gladly put my arm down on the table.
and statue about bleeding broke it. Now, 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 Mr. Thompson, let's not get violent. We all know what happens to patients when they get violent. Yeah, very funny. Like you did with that Morse kid down there. You put him in the room for three months. Oh, yeah, I know about that. Or the Egyptian lady who you had silenced because she knew a little too much. Yeah, I know about that too, Doc. And before this medication here that you've just injected into my arm makes me black out like I know it's going to, I'm going to tell you a few more things. I swear to God, if this doesn't kill me, nothing will. Because I promise you, Doc, it better kill me before I kill you. I'm done here. Take me back to my room where I belong. No, no. All right, Mr. Thompson. Nurse, if you would, please take him back to his room. This concludes session five, I do believe. If I am missing any other sessions, I will reiterate those for further study. Uh, Mr. Thompson is a unique individual. He suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder as well as delusions of grandeur. Normal medications have been failing. However, I do feel this injection series of medications may help him out. Although further study is needed, people with PTSD and DOG usually don't survive past 25 years. Mr. Thompson really is a rare breed. He's been in here for 26 years and still thinks he's a free man. Oh, well, further this, uh, Yes, further investigation is required. <sighs> Maybe next weekend will prove a little better. Although, I may interview him tomorrow while he's under the medicated state. Yes, that medication does have a tiny dose of sodium pentothal in it, so maybe I can get the truth out of him. Definite, yes, definitely. Nurse, jot this down. Perfect. Okay. <sighs> okay, nurse, I'm all done here. <sighs>